Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I have a leftover pan of colors, which might be the perfect thing to start a sky in a small scape. So that's what I'm thinking. And I'm just going to use up my colors right now. I'm going to grab a Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula. These are available on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is under the video. You may have to open show more to find it. If you ever have any questions for me, please feel free to ask them. I, if I have answers, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's going in the bucket. I'm thinking what I liked recently about what, something that I had done. Just putting some magenta in my sky. I don't know if I'm just going to mix it in. Because I want that color in there, that purple. That's something that does not belong. And I will just let that go down below. So no matter what I do for land configuration below, I'll still have that reflected quality from above from the magenta, hopefully. Although right at the moment, it looks more like it's gonna swallow a hole. I need an edge catcher. And I have this one. This one will work fine right at the moment. Let that paint flow up. Rock my edge catcher a little bit. Send that cloud right over to the other side. Try and plant it solidly somewhat. I may not have enough paint, which is okay, because I'll figure it out. I like the stripes in my sky right now though. They're pretty cool. But, I gotta say, even though I was very close to being out of this paint color, that there must be something left in the bottom. Yes, there is. That's the color I want. And it will mix somewhat with what's there. And I can roll it, I can squeeze it and roll it down. And then push it back again. Stick my finger in the paint on my edge catcher. That's cool. Use that over there too. Okay, so that's my sky. I'm just about ready. Although I have been enjoying the odd moment from now and again to blow my clouds out. So I like all that as far as my horizon line goes with the Purple Mountains Majesty and all that. And that's pretty cool. And I've got just enough purple paint. It'd be nice if one of these would open. I was just using them very recently. I've got tweezers. I'm doing the best I can. Sorry to make you wait. And that was black, that was the same purple. I am going to pull out some Decorate Americana Emerald Green. I'm not going to worry about any of this to begin with. But I'm going to dip my card in Floetrol. And start. I want a little white, I want a little gold, I want a bunch of things. Oh, and that was open a minute ago too. I 
it said gold. Where is the gold? There it is. I see it. I'm going to throw a little bit of this turquoise in just because I love it. And I'm very tempted to throw a tiny tadpole of pink in also. Just because I love it too. Maybe a little more than that. Alright, so I'm going to wipe off my card. I notice I have another card handy, which is actually very handy. Let's pick a spot. Let's steal some black. Go all the way down. in doubt, push it down. I want to take all the paint that I have residual on my card and use it to cover my edge. Usually I have cottage cheese container though, lid. So to show you guys that for the moment, it's pretty cool. Give me an excuse to play in my clouds. Which is actually, I recommend it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> For sure. Now, I said I had a smaller card. What did I do with the smaller card when I said I had it? Is it under there? No? Okay. Well, I'm sure there's another one. This one will work. I'm going to snag some of that. Some of that black here, there, and everywhere. Kind of want, kind of wish I hadn't put that little can, that uh, little plate of paint into the bucket yet, because then I would be able to dip my fingers into it. As it is, I will. What I will do is I will go ahead and scavenge around and see what's dripped on my. Lolafy silicone mat and it's residual on my on my spatulas and um, I'm going to do something that I was doing earlier which is using the palette knife to dip into some black paint and put some trees in here but I see that I've got a little bit of canvas showing and I don't want it to be Maybe we get some stairs, huh? <laughs> okay, so where do my trees want to go? Drag it up and down with the tip of the palette knife and then across. I believe I can also tap tap stack stack little tree like branches. At least I can do that as soon as the palette knife pulls them across. It looks like that could be a pond, and there's the waterfall, and it looks like the trees are reflected, which I kind of like the look and sound of that. 
in the pond. So cool. There's my waterfall. All right, so I see my mountain has merged with my sky, and I'm going to want to do something to change that. Maybe there's a cloud over the mountain. I think that's about right. Well, it's after five for me and it's time to go and I'm going to use all of my paint that I've got to spare to cover my bottom edge because I, I do have a little bit and then I'm going to call it good and I'm going to tell you there's 91,000 subscribers to my channel and I really appreciate all of you and especially ones, the ones of you who are here right now. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but it's okay, because I kind of like it anyway. So I'll show you that. Fill in any places that I can see. Across the bottom. Tell you thank you for liking my video. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. It's a helpful gesture on your part. Helps keep me making more videos. And your appreciation and your wonderful comments do a marvelous job of that also. There's another, another something I'm not sure of. Maybe another waterfall right down there. It is what it is, whatever it is. It might get some trees right here too. That'd be kind of cool actually. Maybe if I can do that. Just pick up enough paint cool and it's feathering out too so there's a chance for trees up there on the ridge also drop little blobs in there. It looks like bunches of branches. I got three minutes left. I got just enough time to tell you guys if you're looking for more videos, I have them. <laughs> They're on all playlists, created playlists. There's 18 lists that are going to have 100 on them each, most of them. Except for the 18th, of course, which I'm populating. And there's other lists by topic and genre, and if you have a question or you have a desire for a link and you can't find it, just ask me. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I'll get back to you if I have an answer. I'll probably get back to you if I don't have an answer, too. I'm going to give myself a little tiny bit of green. Right there. There we go. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to say thank you very much for all the wonderful comments and compliments you give me all the time. I really appreciate that. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you for all of the donations that help keep me painting. It's an expensive hobby. And uh, when I sell an artwork, it makes life worthwhile. <laughs> so if you want to be of assistance to me at all, and you'd like to be able to purchase a painting, feel free to look for my email address. It's below, it's below the link tree where you can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. What a couple waterfalls. 
and some rocks. Uh, anyway, I'm ultimately distracted right now. Underneath the link tree, you're going to find my Amazon link and my two books are there because I can in unlimited possibilities. Also, my OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading tool around, I guarantee. 99.9% .9 satisfaction rate as far as I know. Um, also, there are Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Expressionist Art, and, and tomorrow's video is usually posted there. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. We'll zoom in if we can has a shop now button that will take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. Should I zoom in below so you guys can see some of those cells? Not that it's a very good view. I need a better camera. Maybe someday. Right after I get the proper lighting. <laughs> so thank you guys for everything. Look on the end screen exhibition video in the last 20 seconds for the prizes in the monthly drawing. If you are someone who donates to help keep me painting still through PayPal or Patreon, I prefer, prefer PayPal, um, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And the drawing is at the end of the month, and you will see paintings and or books or whatever I'm offering in that exhibition video. Look for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Pinterest is where I put my videos and... Uh, Instagram is where I put my re most recent artworks whenever I have a chance. I think I told you, but I'm not sure if my paint pouring recipe is below underneath the video under show more under the description. You can, you can find that. The community board is another place to find tomorrow's video. Teespring clothing is below the video and it has all of our print leggings and t-shirts and more. And if you're interested in having any one of my pieces of artwork turned into something that can become a print or print on something, just ask me and I will get back to you. So I think I've, whatever I've forgotten, I'll tell you another time. So this is Priscilla Batsell. Happy New Year, by the way, uh, in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying, I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here. I'll see you anon. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.